This video is from my friend Megan, who's about to buy her first camera, and it's a Canon SL3 with an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. For those of you just getting started picking cameras and lenses, I want to make this video to explain the three most important numbers you need to know. First, it's the focal length, so that's usually the numbers that end in millimeters, so 18 to 55, that's how zoomed out and how zoomed in you can get. Then we're gonna talk about aperture, which is the F slash number, and we'll get into the details of that. And then one more number for you to know is the front filter thread size, and that is also important if you're gonna be doing something like car photography or landscape photos, and you wanna buy filters for your lenses that screw on like this one here. This does not come with the lens, but there are a bunch of different filters that you can get for various effects and to help your photography. So let's start with the focal range first. The 18-55 millimeter, MM stands for millimeter, length means that lens can go from 18 millimeters on the wide end to 55 millimeters on the zoomed in end. I don't have that lens, but I have a 24 to 70 lens. And you can see when I was filming video at 24 millimeters, it was pretty wide, similar to what an 18 millimeter looks like. And as I zoom in to 70 millimeters, it gets a lot closer and more cropped in. And that's what those first numbers mean. You'll typically see 18 to 55 millimeters. You'll see 55 to 250 or 200, 70 to 300, 70 to 200, various numbers like that. Those are all called zoom lenses. And then you have what are called prime lenses. So this here is a 50 millimeter f1.4 lens. And you can see the only number on it is 50 millimeters and then f slash 1.4. So this lens, the only way to zoom in and out is to physically move your body forward and backward. So you might be thinking, why would they make lenses where you can't zoom in? Look at how small this lens is. This is a 50 millimeter 1.4, so I can get a really nice blurry background. And then look at how big this lens is, and I can also take photos at 50 millimeters, but that size comparison is pretty big. So if you're walking around all day, it's nice to have smaller, lighter lenses. And with the f1.4 aperture, I can get blurrier backgrounds. So the picture you're seeing right now was taken with the 50 millimeter 1.4 at f1.4. And now if we switch to a photo taken on this lens, you can see 50 millimeters at f2.8 looks a little bit different. The background is not as blurry. And that's the second number, the f slash. So f slash is your aperture and the aperture actually relates physically to the size of the lens. You can see the aperture blades moving on this lens here. So the more open it is, the more light you're gonna get through and the blurrier your, your background. For instance, if I had it stopped down, this is f22, there's barely any light coming through the camera, so it'd be really hard to take photos like this in a dark setting like a nightclub or a concert or during sunset. But if I open the lens like this, that means I can get a lot of light and I can shoot in those darker places and I also get a blurrier background. Here's an example of that background again. You can see when I was filming at f2.8, the Sony action camera is in focus and the cameras behind it on the table are pretty blurred out. As I change it to f8, you can see the video gets darker, but now you can read some of those names on the cameras like Panasonic and Nikon. Keep in mind, a lower aperture means a blurrier background and more light so you can shoot in darker areas. The 50 millimeter f1.8 means it only has one focal length, you can't zoom in and out, but you get a really nice blurry background and you can shoot in darker settings. And the last number is the filter thread size, and the filter thread is the front of your lens. Your headphone jack is a three and a half millimeter jack. Most lenses will be between 52 millimeters all the way up into the hundreds. For instance, this lens I have right here has an 82 millimeter filter thread, and if I grab my 82 millimeter filter, I can screw it on and you can see now I have control of my reflections because this is a circular polarizing filter. If I wanted to take the same filter and use it on another lens, you can see that it wouldn't fit because it is way too big. Here's that 50 millimeter lens, here's the filter. You can see the sizes don't really line up. So I'd have to buy the same filter for a different lens. And sometimes you end up with a lot of filters for a lot of lenses and that's just the name of the game. I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, please let me know in a comment down below. If anything is confusing, feel free to ask. I'm happy to help. Megan, good luck on buying your camera. I hope you subscribe to the channel to learn more about photography in general, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.